A primary concern for many patients with type 2 diabetes is weight gain. Unfortunately, weight gain is a common side effect for many of our diabetes medications. So when looking at different medication options for your patients, you'll often want to consider the risk of weight gain and select medications that minimize this or may even aid in weight loss. Again, metformin is going to be your first choice for nearly all patients with type 2 diabetes, including those concerned with weight. It's considered weight neutral and may actually cause weight loss in some patients. For patients concerned with weight gain, lifestyle intervention is important to emphasize as well. As with all patients with type 2 diabetes, you want to reassess glycemic control after three months of therapy. If glucose goals are not met after three months of metformin, we need to add a second medication. If you're looking to minimize weight gain, the best options are the DPP-4 inhibitors, the SGLT2 inhibitors, or the GLP-1 receptor agonists. The DPP-4 inhibitors are weight neutral, so will limit weight gain. But often patients concerned with weight opt for a medication that can cause weight loss, either the GLP-1 receptor agonists or the SGLT2 inhibitors. In this case, I will generally choose the GLP-1 receptor agonists for patients who are okay with injections or the SGLT2 inhibitors for patients who would prefer an oral medication. The primary side effect with the GLP-1 receptor agonists is nausea, while the SGLT2 inhibitors can cause increased urination, vaginal yeast infections, or urinary tract infections, which can be bothersome for some patients. The DPP-4 inhibitors are generally well tolerated, but not as effective as the other two medications. If blood sugars aren't at goal three months after introducing the second medication, the third step of the treatment algorithm is further intensification with a third agent. Again, for patients whose primary goal is minimizing weight gain, you will want to choose either an Incretin or an SGLT2 inhibitor. These medications work well in combination due to their different actions to lower blood sugars. If your patient cannot achieve their A1C goals on three non-insulin agents, you will need to consider starting insulin. Unfortunately, nearly all patients will gain weight on insulin, but with continued efforts at diet and lifestyle, you can minimize this while improving glucose control. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.